Hey you guys, the interesting here, and today I'm gonna do a first episode of um, Let's Play Rival Kingdom. So the Game Hunter has been on my case for a really long time now, and I promised him that I would play Rival Kingdom, or at least I'll give it a try, right after I will get back from E3. And granted, it took me a little bit more than right after I got back from E3, but then again, you know, 4th of July was right around the corner, and we all were traveling and whatnot, so... No excuses now, I'm jumping in and I'm gonna check it out. So um, this is just a tutorial. I'm going through the uh, first motions of um, kind of learning what the game is all about. And it seems like um, this is just another one of those where I, uh, I siege towns and uh, castles of enemies with my troops. And I got spells, I got army. And I got General Alandra Aurelius, who is up there commanding me, or not commanding, rather maybe assisting me throughout my first look at the game. Okay, so um, we have to stay here to protect our shrine and let's see what happens next. So this is an enemy village. No, this is our village and I can choose my village, which they look identical to me on both ends they look totally identical and uh, dangerous saw um, I suppose that's gonna be my name until I can change it later but no seriously both villages on right and left look identical to me they have exact same number of resources I guess it's just difference of resolution for device so okay now we're gonna um, build our home now however you should upgrade it quickly before it's plundered for resources all right so we're gonna start upgrading our buildings and building new production facilities we need a gold storage naturally where am i gonna put all my gold i mean after all i'm like half pirate anyway all right we can skip this for free and finish it super quickly and we now can store up to two thousand in gold okay uh, loot and gold. Now there is a multiplayer option and let's jump in and check it out. Um, as I mentioned, I am dangerous thaw at the moment <laughs> with a really hideous profile photo of, uh, of a weird looking dude, but that's all just the beginning. Um, I'm just getting to know this and checking it out. Okay, so I'm gonna place my troops right over there and have them go at enemy buildings. All right, let's get that gold storage down. All right. Available loot. Zero, because we got it all. All right. Um, I see a defense building right up here, and it is shooting up my troops, um, and their health bar is draining, but I'm gonna send some spells and break those buildings. Hopefully it doesn't actually attack my own guys too. And only damages buildings of the enemy. And this is done. Super easy. Like it so far. Epic victory. I don't know that I would call it epic. I think I'm just gonna go for victory. Okay, so first look, first taste. Um, I guess it's kind of similar to Clash of Clans, and I know game developers hate it when you say it's similar to Clash of Clans, but when the game is so great and so huge and so popular, I guess you're just naturally going to be compared to it. Please forgive me, the space ape. Um, space apes? Space ape. <laughs> okay, now I'm back at my base, and I can unlock new troops by upgrading my barracks. Okay, that's also a very similar concept, but not that I'm complaining, not at all. Okay, we got Warden. Warden. He is hailing from the woodlands of Arboros. These units are masterful hunters and never happier than when they are shooting at something. Um, their range is great and they can breach walls from far away. And for what they lack in hand-on-hand, -hand, they make up for the distance and range. Okay, that sounds good to me. Um, now I can select my squads here and let's check it out. I can just drag them. Uh, right now I can have 
All right, three of these guys, three of those guys. Oh, actually, they kind of look very feminine. I'm stoked to see uh, perhaps women's figures in video games. Although General Alondra obviously is a female. Get notified? Yes, I do want to get notified as I need to play in this more. If Game Hunt is watching this video right now, I'm sure he's smiling because he really wanted me to play this. So this one is for you. Okay, fight another opponent on the map. We can check it out by clicking on the bottom there. And that's not exactly where I clicked, but I just collected a reward. So let's click on the map. Um, the arrow is pointing right there. Let's just do it and let's jump into the multiplayer battle. Now, you remember I selected my troops, so if they don't work out well, it kind of is my own fault. I need to learn all the abilities of my troops. So let's um, figure this out. I can oh I can change an ancient oh look at Delirious and Kis Kistra Kestra they look pretty vicious and dare I say gorgeous so I guess I'm just gonna have to keep upgrading so I can change to one of those ladies okay and now let's jump into the battle and as you can see we can use battle boost which helps us to turn the tide against one of the most brutal and hardened of foes so let's jump in and see how this will work. Um, so these are my troops and basically uh, I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to put them right next to the buildings that I want them to turn down, take down, and watch them go through them. Um, as always, we can use our spells and as you can see on the right hand side, uh, sort of when they are refilled, you can see those blue little crystals light up um, and that's how we know we have another spell. So. So far, everything's working out pretty well. I still have my troops uh, more or less intact, and uh, they just took down the defense building, and now they're working on this figurine of God. Um, I think we still have something else. Okay, they're now running towards the gold storage, and I believe that will be the last building of this base. Um, so. Another cool function that I just found out about, as you saw on the screen, you can fast forward the battle, which is really awesome. Especially if you know you kind of have it in your pocket, you can just press fast forward and you're done. And now let's open mm, the treasure chest. What must it be? I won a battle stone. Um, I don't exactly know what battle stone is, to be honest with you, uh, because I haven't played uh, the game enough, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out as I'm going through the game. Um, and I love that there are daily rewards, daily check-in rewards. I, I feel like if you're already playing a game, it's just an extra little, you know, a little something to come back um, and get rewarded with, which is awesome. And looks like we can harvest vegetation on our base. Um, all right. And so basically we can build attack buildings, defense buildings, production buildings and whatnot. So a whole lot of buildings um, that we need to uh, put up in order to make our base most efficient. And right now I'm not entirely uh, worried about the layout. I just want to get the uh, towers built and uh, my walls can be rearranged later so uh, for now i'm not going to worry about it i will probably have a separate video on that once i uh you know built a few more buildings uh, defense buildings production buildings and whatnot and then um we can basically work out the whole layout and i think this will be it from you guys thank you so much for watching this video uh let me know if you're playing rival kingdoms and i hope to see you guys soon